Hey everybody, this is Sal here again with another tutorial. This one uh, similar to the one I did last time about reflashing your uh, your uh, iPod, but I'm gonna do it in like 60 seconds. Or at least I hope to. So first thing you're going to do is sit at your computer, as you can see here, and uh, plug in your iPod. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this with one hand. Okay. So there it goes. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> you're going to need iPod Wiz and the firmware. Now, I have firmware uh, called Continuum. Okay, Continuum for the 5G. I have the fifth generation iPod. And I dropped it in the folder where iPod Wizard is, okay? So we'll just minimize that for now. Close the autoplay. Uh, make sure that um, iTunes is closed and all that stuff. So what we'll do is we'll open up iPod Wizard. Now what I like to do as we zoom in is right click run as administrator like so. Okay. Here is the iPod Wizard. We close the tip. We don't need any tips here. Okay. You go firmware file, open firmware, select continuum. Okay. It's doing its reading. And that's it. Now, um, if you get any errors, I want you to look right here. See how mine says eject? If it says mount, click it. Click it and then it should change to the name of your iPod and say eject. Okay? Now, make sure that says OK. And if that's OK, everything here matches and you don't have I your iPod, your iTunes software running. Uh, click right to iPod just like that now it's gonna say are you sure you're gonna say yes successfully written click OK and you can close that next thing is you're gonna eject your i your iPod just like that you're gonna okay. stop it then you're going to let it reboot. So I think I I think I reflashed in less than 60 seconds for sure. Just the process of setting it up, opening the software um, takes some time. Well, adds more seconds. So this is going to reboot and look at that you see that I think you can see it there right can you see it okay there's the new uh, the new uh, screen let me see if I can hold it off to the side here it's kinda hard with the glare but you have your music photos that's video games settings shuffle it's all there and apparently it does um, it does your video, your al your album covers as well, which was a big deal. So let's just select something here. Click OK. Let's just play the first song. And I think it takes. It's going to load it now. It's a bit slow there. But what you may have to do, oh, there it is. See that? It loaded the album cover. Cool. There you have it. Look at that. Easy flash. Very simple. That concludes this short video. If you have any questions, well, if you have any questions, you can post them on the site, but um, I'm not very quick at answering them. So hopefully, other users uh, like my subscribers and Users in the YouTube community will help me out and answer uh, any simple questions you may have. But um, it's really, you saw what I did. We did it in like seconds. Uh, make sure you run as administrator. Make sure your iPod is mounted. And make sure iTunes is closed. All right. Ciao.